I want the cats to be seated. Okay, I want us to be able to actually see a lot of cats. So let's just see cats here. Now, if we go into our mongoose setup here, uh, sorry, our seat down here under the config file, you'll notice that I, I'm actually pre-populating all our things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say find everything and when you're done create some cats. I'm just going to copy all of this and paste it in here and I want to say cat but I don't have a cat so how do you import that? Well I hope you remember how you did that but I'm going to use it here saying I want to import a cat the cat model so that means not only did we actually make it possible for the controller to use it, now other people can use the cat model as well. That's another power of splitting the code up that we just did. Then we're saying use the cat to find everything in the database and remove it. Right? Then, when you're done removing everything, I'm asking it to create cats. Let me just clear this out here. Let me just remove everything and say, then take the cat and create a new cat here and I'll just make a single cat here create there we go and what I want the create to do is actually just to tell what the cat should look like and I can't remember what the cat had right now so I'm going to figure that out but I know it had a name and an age what was the last one yeah it was a favorite color so I'm going back to my seeding here and a seed is think of it like a way for us to seed the database with information. So we'll call the cat Pearl and we'll give it an age of 22 and we want to give it a favorite color of green, right? So the idea here is that whenever this system starts now, it'll automatically uh, fill the database, the Mongo database, with some information. So we don't have to go in every time we start our database and rewrite a cat because that would take too much time. Okay. So now that the database has been populated whenever I restart the server and my guess is it's just restarted now. So let's make sure that it's actually also populated the database. And if you guys remember, I have my Mongo, my Mongo Management Studio here. So let me just start that up. So that's running and inside the Mongo Management Studio we have our cost planner and we have our cats. And right now there's a single cat. Its name is Pearl. It's 22 years old since so favorite color is green. So that means that whenever from now on you restart your database by saving anything inside the server side, any file you change in here will actually repopulate the database with whatever information you have down here. And that's why like things are populated up front, the cat is populated now, the users are populated up front, this comes from down here. We want to be able to read, so we'll do that in the next lesson and then we'll try and show the cat in some actual Angular code.